Welcome to the Motive Wave video tutorial series. This is a video on the Elliott Wave Auto Analyze feature. The Auto Analyze feature allows you to have Motive Wave automatically plot the Elliott Wave patterns over a specified range of data that you give it. And the Auto Analyze feature only does this for the particular chart that you're on. So it's for one symbol or instrument. So as you can see, I've got the S&P 500 up here. So to access the auto analyze feature, there's a couple of actually three ways to do it. So if you haven't customized your toolbar, it would be this icon here. So if I hover over it, you can see it says auto analyze. The other way that you can get to it is if by going to view. If I click on view, you can see auto analyze is here, or you can see there's a shortcut if you just hit F6. And then the other option is for whatever chart you're on, you can right click somewhere on the chart. And it's also in the right click context sensitive men menu here. So however you access it, whether it's through the right click, through the view menu, or just by going on the icon, you would click that and it opens up the auto analyze wizard. So here you don't specify the um, wave pattern that you're looking for because Motive Wave will plot all Elliott wave patterns onto the chart for you. But what you do specify is the analysis name. So this comes into play if you've saved an alternate analysis. So right now you can see in the background for the S&P 500 I've got a primary analysis which is the default. If you haven't done any alternate analyses then all of your charts are considered primary analyses. And then I also have an alternate one. So in this case, I can choose between those two because the auto analyze is only for the specific chart that you have open and that you're on. So I'm going to leave it on the primary analysis. And then for the bar size, this is where you can specify what you want it to look for. So you do have the Renko range, bid ask, tick options, as well as the other options here. Um, and if you have created custom bar sizes, you can use that as well. I'm just going to choose the one hour. And then you can specify whether you want to use minimum bars and use all available data. Or if I deselect this, I can choose a maximum number of bars to use. So, and you would just change it by highlighting it and typing it over. Or you can use the up and down arrows. I'm going to use the use all available data option. I'm going to leave the minimum bars at 250. And then the last thing to choose on here is the decom uh, decomposition level or how many levels you want to decompose. So right now it's selected as decompose all. If I deselect this, it allows me to say how many levels. So I can say if I leave it at zero, I just want the top level pattern, or I can say to decompose to one level four or five levels, whatever you want. If I choose decompose all, it will decompose all those levels. So then you just simply click OK. And depending on how many um, bars you've chosen, it could take a while to load it. But you can see it's fairly quick here. So what you can see is it's labeled all the patterns, it's decomposed all the levels, and it's gone back as far as, as the number of bars that I told it to choose. So that is the auto analyze function. It's very straightforward. Um, and again, with any of our auto wave labeling tools, whether it's the scanner, the auto analyze, or the auto wave labeling option, um, you can still adjust these points if you don't agree with what's been plotted. And that may happen. Um, our tools are very good, but there are different outcomes when it comes to Elliott Wave. So um, if something wasn't in the spot that you determined was your analysis and you think that's the right spot, you can always move any of these points to a different location. Mode of Wave will still warn you, as you can see here, if you've moved it to an area that um, invalidates or violates um, an Elliott Wave pattern. So if I hover over there, you can say, see that it says Wave 4 terminates beyond the completion of Wave 2. So I need to move this 
into an area where it doesn't violate the rules and guidelines of Elliott Wave. And just as a, a note on this, as we always say, um, we don't recommend. Sorry, we don't recommend uh, just blindly using the automated tools. We highly recommend that you learn Elliott Wave, that you have your own input into the analysis, and that you just use our auto tools um, to speed up your analysis and to confirm the wave counts that you were looking for, um, or to give you a general guideline. But always, always use your own um, knowledge and make sure that you agree with the analysis. So that is it for the auto analyze feature. Please look for our other videos including the scanner and the auto wave labeling and our manual Elliott wave tools in our other training tutorial videos. Thank you.